Uh, hello, oh. Internet. I do believe we're live, and in the future, I'm Georgia <laughs> for Company Magazine, and we're hanging out today with New Look to talk all things tantalizing talons. We're going to be giving you a bit of advice about swagging out your claws and just generally answering your conundrums around festive swag, etc. But don't worry, I'm not going to be telling you what to do. We've got some people that know a lot more than me. First of all, from Company Magazine, we've got Gem Features Writer and Nat Beauty Assistant. Hi, guys. Hello, Hi, everybody. Hi. 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 Um, and we've got mega festive new look babes, Corinne and Camilla. Hi. Hello. Um, so why a hangout? Well, we could just answer you in 140 characters, but we just felt when it comes to nails, it's not really enough, you know. We'd rather kind of get to know you guys. And um, I'm just going to put the questions to you guys. You ladies ready? Born ready. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so first of all, we've got Pixie Dust. What design can I do that's Xmasy festive but not OTT? Well, the New Look do these amazing little sets that are like millions of pots of little colourful glitter and stuff. And I've kind of been experimenting with them um, just by kind of painting my nails and then like dipping them. You can, I don't know if you can, guys can see this at home, but I've got little star stickers on my nails. And they look amazing. Um, they look really good in real life. Sorry if you can't see it right now. No, um, they look really good. Yeah. You can see yeah. it when you sort of sparkle them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So basically, I just, <laughs> yeah, I just put metallic nail varnish on and then just dip them in the little pots, and it's just like super easy. Or you can apply them with um, uh, tweezers. So I just think a little bit of subtle shimmer is really good. And then there's all the crazy kind of greens and reds for anyone that wants to be a bit wacky at the party. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds good if you're kind of like in a rush. I, I imagine that you could just kind of like dip your nails in and go. Yeah, that's the thing. That's, <laughs> yeah, it, it, those little pots make it so easy because you're like literally like dip, done, that's it. Lovely job. Well, pixie dust, that should make you very happy, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> um, at Hannah Rosalie asks, I'm wanting festive nails without looking cheap and tacky. This is something that I think a lot. Any tips? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you're in luck because actually what's right on trend is the retro red nails. So they were at like Valentino, Sassenbite even put like a little bit of glitter on them, which looks amazing. And Holly Fulton even did like flat tips just up on the top. They had these incredible stiletto nails and uh, it just added a little bit of a rock chic vibe. So if you're a rocker, you've got that. If you like a bit of sparkle, you've got the red sparkly. And if you're just like you know, old school retro, go for retro red, it's perfect. There was also berries, berries are everywhere. It's like everyone's gorging on berries. Um, <laughs> oh, so, oh, oh, yes, <laughs> there we go, berry no, colours. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Get those berries. Um, yeah, <laughs> nothing berry at the moment, so definitely go for that because that's still Christmassy, you know, I think. I think a winter Christmas, berries, mm. I think of that. Berries are so Christmas. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like berries is kind of like the almost safer, more chic option if you don't want to go super red as well, if you just be worried about being tacky. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And they're at Burberry, so I mean, that's chic. I mean, uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> berry, clue is in the name. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sorry, that was like worse than the cracker joke. <laughs> if um, Cara's doing it, I'm in. Um, <laughs> what are you saying, you look, ladies? Uh, we've actually got a bit of a thing for more subtle metallics. Um, mm -hmm. Rather than going all out glitter on the nails, if you go for like a gold or a silver shimmer, um, Kelly Brook does this one. I don't know if you can see. And it's actually in a feather texture. Okay. Um, so you put on the first layer, which is just a gold shimmer, and then put on the second layer, and it's like little this little feathery bit, and it gives a really, really nice texture. You've got a funnel in there to do it as well. Wow. Yeah, really, really easy to do. And the good thing about that is obviously texture is everywhere this season, like from yeah. mixture knits, fluffy, and if you want to kind of complement that in quite a subtle way, just bring in a little bit of a subtle metallic gold, or even like, as you're talking about all the reds, there's no reason why you can't put a bit of shimmer on them as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so complement yeah. the textures for everything and switch it up a little bit, really. Yeah. yeah. If you have like a jam card jacket or mm. a velvet dress or something like that, having that extra bit of texture on your nails isn't tacky, it, it's just you festive. Can, you can even get velvet nails. So oh, that is true. You can get Go velvet nails, you can get caviar nails. Yeah, the little beading, they're quite cool. It's just a bit different. If you, if you want to just try a different colour and then yeah. just add another dimension. So, Go maybe go, yeah, going more neutral on the colour and add a really nice texture mm. instead. Okay, how would I go about getting velvet nails? 
It's a thing. Yeah. I've just seen it. <laughs> No, it's, 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 it's a type of manicure. Like manicure. Yeah. So if you get a caviar bead manicure, you can get a velvet manicure. What are the other ones you can get? You can get like, you get leather. Leather, like leather, leather textured manicures. I've got the caviar one on now from that crazy little there you go. Yeah. Like, little, little and it's amazing. Kind of yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> mm, nice. Because I don't know what you mean. Sometimes you're so dressed up for Christmas, and even though I love having nail art on, I guess if you have a plain colour and an interesting texture, that makes it fashion forward, but at the same time doesn't take away from the outfit, I guess. Yeah, yeah. totally. Because you don't always want to have candy canes and snowmen and stuff. It doesn't always yeah. work. So yeah. this is a bit of more. It's a bit more grown up and a bit more sophisticated. Yeah. Think about what you'd wear as an outfit, and then just extend it to your nails, rather than having something that's completely yeah. out there. Just yeah, keep it chic. Yeah, it's a little touch. Keep it chics, babes. Well, you heard it here first. <laughs> um, so Martin asks, are there any cheap and easy secrets to a festive manicure on a budget? That's to pajama. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I have one of my really my favourite nail secrets right here for you. Somewhere. Somewhere. Okay. You know <laughs> Where? I had it right here, but. I'm going to shock magnifying glass. I'm going to shock you now when I show you my. It's here. It's right here. Da, 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 da. It's a Kirby grip. Um, <laughs> let me just backtrack a second here. Um, so basically, there's loads of kind of stuff around your house that you don't have to like spend loads of money on nail art stuff. You can use sponges, bits of kitchen sponge. You can use that for like creating that ombre look, just yeah. to, for like sponging. And Kirby grips actually work really well when you open them up. Um, I've got wet nail varnish on. Not easy. <laughs> um, when you open them up, you can use the end of a Kirby grip for um, as like a dotting tool. So you can kind of make a really cute little festive party look just with some little, just with any nail polishes, just any like kind of cheap nail polishes, but Ooh. it's the kind of household tools that can create all these crazy effects that you would spend mm. like 25 quid on in a salon, so get crafty, raid yeah. the kitchen cupboard. Get and, some bobby pins. Yeah. Bobby <laughs> 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 grips. Bobby <laughs> pins. <laughs> That's creative. Um, so next, Kirsty asks, I have really brittle nails but still want to paint them over Christmas. Any ideas on how to fix this? That's one for you, Beauty Ed. Okay, so I would say, you know, you, prevention. You've got to start there. Um, you want to keep your nails really supple. They're like your hair, so you know how your hair dries out, so do your nails. So the best thing to do is to make sure that you're always moisturising. Like, I moisturise my hands every time I use them. I think that everyone should. Um, you've only got two hands for the rest of your life. Look after them. <laughs> and, uh, definitely a cuticle oil. I think that that works really well in just keeping them moisturized and stopping any sort of loss of moisture from your fingernails. So I would definitely say do that to the lead up. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, there's nail hardeners and stuff out there, but I guarantee you that if you really look after your hands and your nails in the lead up to Christmas, and they're going to love you, and they're going to thank you for being really good and not peeling. <laughs> <laughs> and where do I get cuticle oil from? Like chemists? Oh, yeah, heaps of places. There's heaps of cuticle oil out there. So, you know, go to Boots, just ask them. Mm -hmm. They'll point you in the right direction. And it's absolutely fabulous. Got to go for it. Nice. I've heard that Posh Spy sleeps with her hands in gloves. You heard that? I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Moisturizing gloves. Is that, is that the thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, she does it. I mean, she's everybody's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get gloves on, yeah. Do a Michael Jackson. Get some gloves. Yeah. <laughs> Wear gloves all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Always. Only <laughs> one though. That's what he was yeah. doing. You know. <laughs> His manicures were top notch. Yeah. Yeah. But he had amazing nails. <laughs> <now. laughs> I mean, you you could say that was his legacy. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Um, <laughs> I, I use my hand to do a lot of chores. What nail polish can I use that's sturdy enough? That's one for you, Gem. Ooh, but I think you know kind of more about the um, keeping... Oh, was that, was that my one? Oh, yes, it was. Do you know what I think the thing is? You don't want to get... It's actually not to do with the nail polish. You kind of make any nail polish last yeah. if you... If gloves. You've got, yeah. Make sure that you're using Back gloves. To the gloves. <laughs> <laughs> gloves. Make sure that when you're washing up, you're using gloves. I mean, detergents, water, everything is gonna help mm. you know lift that nail polish up. Yeah. Your nails naturally have an oil base anyway, so that's gonna lift off the nail polish, and you just want to sort of like protect it as much as possible. Mm. So yeah, I'd yeah. say use gloves when you're washing up. 
just be careful, like, in home. if you're doing, like, you know, touch anything. And vacuuming and stuff, like, just, you know, treat them nicely. Be careful with them. I kind of think, just don't do chores. I mean, it's nails. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're cleaner and have amazing nails. It's just not worth the risk. Yeah. Tell your mum to do the washing up, Pixar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know, like, a particular nail, like, top coat that generally makes it say more? Like, is there any point in even using a top coat? Does it actually work? Oh my gosh, yes. Um, yeah, top coat is definitely important. Yeah. If you want your nail polish to last, you've got to use a top coat. You know? And a base coat. And a base coat is yeah. really important. Yeah. I say, do you use both of those? Yeah. I gotcha. Otherwise, you stain your nails. Like, if you yeah. if you paint your nails without a base coat, they go all sorts of crazy colours and it just looks Maybe really yellow. Yeah. Is, yeah, I've, yeah. I've had that before. That would be why. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but if you do get yellow nails, you use toothpaste to get rid of the um, the yellowness. But using a base coat will get rid of the need. That's really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so my next question was about chipping, but I'm not sure if we've answered that with the top coat. And have you got yeah, any guess, other advice? I guess we sort of have. You know, with chipping, you need to make sure that you've got a base coat, do two layers, and then a top coat, and always stick to those rules because. As Jen was saying, if you don't use a base coat, you don't really have, it's sort of like primer for your skin before mm -hmm. your makeup. You don't have that smooth base to start off with. You know, your nails have ridges in them, so you want to make sure that it's smooth so that you can get two smooth coats, let it dry for a bit, and then put on a top coat, make sure that it's dry. I mean, if you're going to paint your nails and take the time to do it, you really need to take out like two hours, so you sit in front of the TV. <laughs> Obviously, a show that you don't really want to watch. You just want it on in the background because yeah. you're going to be, you know, painting away. But yeah, always make sure it's dried properly. That's the yeah. worst thing when you're like, this looks amazing, and then you go like that, and then it's gone. Like, yeah, be patient. Well, <laughs> we always come in the morning, and we both compare our nails because we've gone to bed with them, and we've got like little duvet marks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, the them under the tap makes yes. it set hard, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Yeah. Yeah, you run them under the cold sure, tap. Yeah, make sure that you wait a little bit though, because I've done that before when I run, ran them underneath the tap, and I was like, oh, it sort of looks like it's melted to the side. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe wait till it's almost dry, and then run them under the tap. And mm -hmm. also a hair dryer. I mean, you know those snazzy little dryers that everyone has in the salons. Yeah. Uh, it's just air, so you know, <laughs> hair dryer. Give it a little bit of a. This is genius. Learning something new all the time. I think this hangout <laughs> could change the world. Yeah. It's going to change my life. <laughs> change lives, <laughs> one by one. <laughs> um, so we're talking a lot about polish, but what do you think about um, nail stickers and wraps? I love nail stickers and wraps. I know that you do. I mm -hmm. mean, she's yeah. like, you know, do it yourself, nail wrap. Queen. Anything that's easy and quick. Yeah. Our, actually, our uh, creative director, Tanita. She is now a rap queen. She'd be perfect for this. But mm -hmm. she's not here, so we're going to have to bring <laughs> her in for her. I just want to say, she did ask me to pass on a tip to you all. Uh, Tanita, the lady responsible for our amazing layout, she's a genius. She's obsessed with nail wraps, addicted, and she said the key to getting it right, because a lot of people get it wrong, is just cut, cut it to the exact size of your nail with nail scissors, because they've got the kind of natural curve in them, and then they will fit perfectly Ooh. and they'll stay on. It's all about making it fit properly. Yeah. I also really love them. I mean... I know that there's a bit of a gel craze at the moment, and gels are nice, you know, it doesn't chip, but at the end of the day, anything that you're going to have to soak off for ages might actually end up doing a little bit of damage, so nail wraps are just a really yeah. good way of getting polished quick, fast, mm. it's going to look perfect, it sticks on for ages. I mean, I've had nail wraps that I've literally been like, oh my god, they're still going, this is, mm. I don't know if this is a little bit gross mm. that I've still got them on. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thrown half down your nail. Yeah. You know, and they're like, just the tip. That's it, right? You know, it's like a French Manny with the just the tip part. Genius. <laughs> but yeah, love nail wraps. Definitely high, high on the list. Especially for Christmas, running out the door. Stick one on. Love um, so I go gelish quite a lot, but they definitely do kind of ruin my nails. Would you recommend not doing that? I would. I mean... Personally, I've gone jellish before, and it did harm my nails a bit. I mean, I must admit, I didn't take it off the best possible way. <laughs> did you pick it? Yeah, I, 
I picked, and then I was too scared to really go back because I picked. I think that if you pick <laughs> someone and you get it taken off professionally, then sure. it's not going to cause so much harm. That said, as I was saying before, anything where you need to soak mm. your nails, you know, for half an hour in acetone, um, I doubt that it's going to be particularly good for them. Mm. Uh, but yeah. I don't, I don't mind the jellish. Not yeah. personally for me. Yeah, I like the jellish. Yeah. Yolo. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about fake nails? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, well, stiletto, massive, isn't it? Like that trend, huge mm. trend. And the only way that I'm ever going to get a stiletto nail is fake ones. Like these puppies mm. won't grow. I'm just scared if yeah. you grow your own. That would be a Yeah. Imagine you grew your own stiletto nails, filed them into the perfect points, and were like, ah, and then chip them. You would be dead. You'd do your chores. <laughs> Weeks of work out the window. Yeah, yeah. Just fake it. Fake it for the stiletto. Um, when we're talking stiletto, are we saying like one pointy long nail? Then? Yeah. Pointy yeah. nails. So that's still massively on trend. Yeah, Rihanna is yeah. like really super long. Mm -hmm. But now the new trend is actually a square letto. Mm -hmm. um, it's always changing. So that's square basically letto. just super long and then you saw off the top. So it's like square, long and square. Less dangerous. Less dangerous. Mm -hmm. Not going to poke out anyone's eye. No. Sure. Yeah. But good for poking people, maybe. Yeah. Good on the Possibly yeah. good for a chalkboard, like, <gasps> yeah, I would like to do it. Punishment. Now, all these parties and festive bling are obviously in aid of the big day itself. And um, I've got a few questions about what nails wear with your outfit on the big day. Do you guys generally get dressed up for Christmas Day? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, the new look girls, you guys are rocking your Christmas no, day. Right right now. Now. What do you need? <laughs> I think this is pretty perfect for the big right, day. I don't know if you I've, can see I've, that. If you can get up again, Corinne. Oh, she I'm flashes. Flash. <laughs> it kind of flashes if you dance, which is always a bonus. Great. Yeah, that was we're, yeah. we're always dancing. We need something to show that. <laughs> You're my idol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they need like they need trousers that have you know a little tail on the back that flash yeah. when you're twerking it. <laughs> like both our calves, like Santa pants, that'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's match. Yeah, or like or like one one could be the head and one could be the legs and you could swap. <laughs> your gun head. Oh, no. oh, so who draws the trumps? <laughs> You know, right. girls, we were talk we were gonna talk about um what nails to wear on Christmas Day kind of, weren't you? Kind of matching it with your crazy Christmas Day outfit. So would you say that's what what you would wear on Christmas Day? Um <laughs> well, Yeah, I think I think Chris especially this year, Christmas jumpers are pretty huge. huge. Yes. Um if you haven't got a Christmas jumper you are missing out. Like it's November so, and it's I have mine. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Out of yeah. range, what do you think would be the best sort of nail to wear with a Christmas jumper? Well, would I think it would, be, would you go fake nails, wrap? Like, what would you do with this? I think if we're talking Christmas Day styly, I think we'd have to go with these ones that I've just fallen in love with. I was just putting them on literally just now. Um, these so are the, yeah, the elegant touch ones that you um that you you guys sell at New Look. They're they're these kind of gorgeous little snowflakes. I love um, them. And basically, so they come sweet. Through. I'll just show them off. Uh, I mean, you know, hey, it's the time is short. The new statement nail look, people, the pinky. Really? The naked pinky. Okay, I wasn't just, you know, I didn't just run out of time. That's not it. <laughs> little, little cute snowflake design. And basically, it's so easy because they come with stickers. So you literally just, there's no glue, no damage to the nail. You just literally mm. stick it on, bung it on, and go. And Jamie I mean, and I actually put these on your nails, what, in like maybe 30 seconds? Pretty much 30 seconds, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm not, you know, giving myself props. Really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've done it, but you can do it on your own. It's really easy. Mm. I think if it's Christmas Day, you're, there's much more important things to worry about, like opening presents, cooking, yeah. and having a massive nail art banana. Easy. So just fake it. And these are great they're so bright that if one pops off while you're, you know, making your Christmas dinner, you'll be able to spot it for nanny chokes on it. Which is always what I want. That's all I look for in a nail. Exactly. Well, yeah. 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 Like, you know when you're making up the Christmas pudding and you put the charms in? No. 
I don't do that. that. <laughs> Legendary behaviour at your house. Yeah, we're we're all all things in the food all the time. Ah, okay, so maybe with a stick on nail, it might be good to just stick some nail glue in your handbag or something. Yeah, all these snazzy little stickers they do now. Yeah. I prefer that because it's just better for your nail just to uh, and it's on. quicker. Yeah, less and I guess if they pop off, you can just put them back on. Yeah, like you can just got the sticky oh, yeah. screw. Yeah, you can reuse all the time. That's why they're really cost effective, I think. And those were only nice. like three or four quid, so... Um, Bargain. Oh, amazing. Okay, so I'm one definitely to wear a Christmas jumper and leggings or something on the big day. But what about if I was going to go for like a sequin number? Uh, what should I put on my talons? I think if you're blinging it up a bit more, you don't want something too overwhelming. Um, I'll go back to this little snazzy star design that I did. Um, I kind of, I've kind of done two designs in one here, peeps. I've done the the, the statement nail of the caviar um, little ball things because I think if you just had all your nails one colour and then just do your little statement nails. Um, I think that that's a really cool look just to not overwhelm it if you've got a lot of bling going on. Um, or you could do something a bit more subtle like these little, I did a metallic polish uh, which is from the Kelly Brook set um, right here. I chose one of the little metallic polishes and then I stuck some of the little um, little sequins or stars on them and it's just kind of subtle but fun, like kind of cute. Um, and it's all just really easy because you just want to party, don't you? You don't want to be slaving away. You know what would be cool as well is if you did, like, just your colour and then for the tip of your nail you did the stars so that it yeah. was like a French man oh, with yeah. stars. So just your tips bling. And you know, another thing that I was going to do is do a layer of polish, let it dry, and then do some kind of diagonal lines across your nails just so you've kind of got half of the nail is now yeah. wet with the yeah. new layer of polish and then dip so you've got this kind of asymmetric kind of half and half kind mm. of look. I think that's really cool. Mm. Yeah. They're not, not just a couple of hat racks, are they? No. <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right. Well, thanks for that, babes. Um, it's now time to announce the winner of our competition from last week. Woo! Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> Big bonanza on to win £100 worth of vouchers. And I can announce the winner is at Stroppy Bird. Congratulations. Yay! Yay! You can't be in that same mood like one, can you? We just like to say she was rocking some really festive red, a nice red mini skirt, and a black pet black pet black, 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 black pet them top as well. Gorge. And and what loving life. You just with that? What kind of nail would you have paired with that? Sorry, Georgia, I'm stealing your question. No, no, no. <laughs> That's the question. Uh, well, anything. Well, a black peplum top, was it? Yeah, and a red pencil skirt. Stunning. I think oh, a really nice kind of beigey, like, nude. Yeah, I was going to say nude. Very nude. Yeah. Kind of like matte top coat if you want to yeah. give it a bit of edge. Yeah. Lovely. That's nice. Mm. Beautiful. <laughs> Um, so we've got another one this week, and this time you could be the blogger at our new look company magazine, Ultimate Party of Life Ever, basically. <laughs> yeah! Um, all you need to do is tweet a pic of your festive nails using the hashtag party hangout to new look fashion and company magazine. It could be anything, maybe inspired by a bit of the chat that we've had today, maybe with an outfit, how you'd wear it, um, and we'll be picking the best ones. And you could be at the party, having a lovely time with us, maybe enjoying a bit of bubbly and reporting on the event. Hell yeah. yeah. We'll be back in a mere seven days talking about shoes, accessories, and hairstyling. So I hope that's answered all your questions. Thanks so much, babes. You're welcome. Hey. Hey. Happy party season. Bye. 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 See you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.